Hello everyone. You might not like what I am going to say. And I don't have a church and I am not depending on tithes and offerings <laughs> to pay the mortgage of a church. You know, I don't have a Rolls Royce. I don't have a Mercedes. So I don't have anything that depends on random people's donations, which I would like donations for real. Anyways, I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not trying to make anyone mad, but I believe it should be shamed. I think marriage is taken like it is a choice, like it is optional. So I can either fornicate or I can get married. I think some people see it as like a choice and it is a choice, but it is something that is not really a choice, if that makes any sense. It is something that you should do if you choose to want to have sex with someone. You may not like this. What should be shamed is for a man or woman to have a child without being married. Meaning that you were not married when you got the woman pregnant or the woman got pregnant when she was not married. That should be shamed. I think one of the reasons why it happens so often now, I think, I think in some cultures, I think in some cultures it is not really accepted. But I think some cultures accept it. I believe one of the reasons why it is accepted in some cultures because, am I saying that right? I believe one of the reasons some people do it because probably in some cultures it is accepted. It should not be accepted. It should be shamed, meaning people should not feel encouraged to have babies outside of marriage. That is so wrong. Some people may say that marriage is only paper. It is only, you know, like as if it is insignificant. No, marriage is a covenant between you and God, you and your spouse and God. So it is not only a paper, but something God takes seriously. You may say, well, Kevin, if I were to get married, the woman would change, the men would change, the men will use scriptures to control me, or the men will um, take advantage of me, or the woman will take my money, half of my money and stuff like that. Listen now, doesn't matter the excuse, you need to get married. Pray before you get married. While you're praying, stop having sex. If you can't stop having sex, stop being around the opposite gender as much as possible. It may be accepted in America to jump to this woman, to this woman, to that woman, to this woman, or jump to this man from that man. Like, I think whoredom is accepted in America. 
but whores are unacceptable. That lifestyle, it is not good. It is not right. Change, change from that. Get married, have respect for yourself, stay with that one man, stay with that one woman, and try to make things work. Stop jumping all over the place. Stop having kids with this man, that man, that man, or stop impregnating all these women, thinking it is okay. It is shameful. It is so wrong. It is not a badge of honor. No way. Stop influencing people, which I did myself, teaching men how to get many women or teaching women how to get money out of a man. That is wrong. That is so wrong. Let me stop here.